to make a beautiful sky in oil paint. First, the technique I will be using today is called wet on wet. To do wet on wet, put a thin layer of liquid white down, and that makes and the, it helps make the cameras to get wet and to blend easier. So, do the painting. I use a one-inch brush and crisscross motions to make a beautiful sky. The, the colors I will be using today are Prussian blue, phthalo blue, turquoise, magenta, primary magenta, light rose, and mauve. The colors are lighter because they put there's a layer of white and white makes everything lighter. So and you know you're making a light, fluffy, light, beautiful sky. But you don't have to make it light too. You could also make a stormy sky. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. for the clouds. So once you're happy with your colors, rinse your brush. Once you're happy, rinse it, and that is how you can make one beautiful oil painting sky. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Artwork by Haley, and visit my website at HaleySellmeyer.com. Keep creating!
together and mix together all of these three colors. The brown, the red, and blue. We're doing this so we can get a nice dark mountain-y color. Once you're happy with it, get it out and make it into a roll and get some on your palette knife. Now, we're making a basic outline of the mountains. And remember, mountains aren't perfect. Nothing in nature is perfect. So... You can't have them all looking perfect and straight because that will look really unnatural. if you don't think it's good enough. It really doesn't matter what happens in here because this will all be covered up. Clean your palette knife and to clean a palette knife in case you didn't know dip it in your solvent as little or as less of snow you want. There. Cleaning your palette knife. And get some of your fail blue. And with the leftover white, 
and load up your palette knife and start with the shadows. And if you don't like how bright the shadows are, you can always just add more white or do a different blue. It's up to you. you know there's still ridges in the mountain no matter what side they are on and if you want like one mountain in the very front you can pull your shadows up and cover another mountain to make it look in the foreground yeah you can push the mountains back have fun with it and you can experiment do whatever you want. Your mountains. Then I think I'm gonna get some more of the mountain color and how you can make beautiful mountains in oil paint. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Arbor by Haley, and visit my website at HaleySellmeyer.com. Keep creating! Hi, my name is Haley Selmeyer. I'm 10 years old and I love to paint. Today, I'm going to show you how to make beautiful water in oil paint. First, the materials. Today I will be using a two inch brush and a blender brush. The paints I will be using today are phthalo blue and phthalo green. And there's already a thin layer of liquid white on the canvas. So let's get started. Take your two inch brush and get some of your phthalo blue. Move outward from the sides and make a white space in the middle. You can do your sides. And water isn't perfectly all crystal clear, so add some of your phthalo green. And if it gets too overpowering with the green, just add a bit of blue there. The white in the middle is going to be how the sun is reflecting off the water. And it will look really cool when done. So clean your brush. And if you have one, get a completely, completely clean two inch brush and blend it.
Don't you like it? Clean your brush. And that we will add more trees and land on the top so it won't just be like that. And that is how you can create beautiful water and oil paint. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Artwork by Haley, and visit my website at HaleySalmeyer.com. Keep creating! Hi, my name is Haley Salmeyer. I'm 10 years old and I love to paint. And today I'm going to show you how to make beautiful trees on your oil painting. First, the materials. The paints that I have today are cadmium yellow, Van Dyke brown, sap green, and white. The brushes I will be using today are a one inch brush, a fan brush, a wood brush, and a palette knife. First, I'm going to take my one inch brush and mix together a little together of my some of my white and sap green. Maybe a little bit of my brown. I'm going to blow that up on my brush. A lot of paint on there. So now I'm going to just tap up and down. Because these are background trees. And trees aren't straight. So make some tar and some little baby shorts. And give just filming. I'm just gonna get some migraine. Do that and paint them through my sides. And my other side because you should always do your side when you're oil painting or for any painting because it makes your painting look more professional and more complete. So you really want to load it, load it up. So now I think I'm going to add a tree. 
So, if you do an evergreen tree, you just tap with the corner of your brush and keep tapping and keep tapping, getting wider at the base, loading up more than you need to. So, there's one tree, and I'm going to make a, a really big tree. So I'm just going to still keep, keep tapping. And once it gets really, the tree gets really thick, you can start using the whole fan brush. Just the slightest indication.
the trees. Just very, very lightly. Because the trees aren't all just dark and luminous. Because there's some, the sun is somewhere on your painting, even though you don't act, you haven't actually painted the sun. It's still somewhere there, so there's still light, and it can still create light on your trees. I'm going to rinse my brush, and I think I got a tiny bit overpowering, so I'm just going to go in with my green and get a bit of green spots in there. how you can make a beautiful trees in oil paint. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Artwork by Haley, and visit my website at haleysomewhere.com. Keep creating! Hi, my name is Haley Stelmeyer. I'm 10 years old and I love to paint. And today, I'm going to show you how to add some fun details to your oil painting. First, the materials. The brushes I'll be using today are a fan brush, a palette knife, and a blender brush. So, first, I'm going to take my palette knife and see how I have little bushes, but there's no tracks in the bushes. So I'm just going to do little scratches. Maybe make maybe it might look like some twigs. And that just gives us that little extra something. Now I'm going to clean my palette knife. And get out my fan brush. I'm going to make a little shoreline slash tiny reflection. So I'm going to lightly go across and clean my brush and it gets clean dirty because you want an extremely, extremely clean brush for this. get my blender brush. I'm just going to soften them out. You may not be able to tell the difference too much, but there is a difference. It, and it does help make them, you know, reflections and soft. channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Artwork by Haley, and visit my website at HaleySalmire.com. Keep creating! Mm -hmm.